All right, good morning. We are at January 11th, 2024. We're having a chilly day down here in South Georgia. A beautiful day, though. I have been doing a lot of thinking this morning and trying to get my thoughts together so that I can do my job in a in a good manner. My job is to declare the name of Yeshua the Messiah before men to declare the name of Jesus Christ and to tell you what he who he is what he is and what does it mean now we've been having a ongoing series about the question the big question I'll call it the biggie is Jesus God or was Jesus just a man that was a great teacher or was he a man that God put his spirit on so that he could do the miracles? The main stream or the main line Christian teaching for a couple of thousand years is that Jesus was in fact fully God and fully man. And this question is really what ended up getting Jesus crucified. The Jews, the religious Jews of Jesus' time felt that Jesus was going around calling himself God. They were very frightened because many people believed him and felt like they were looking at God in the flesh. He was healing essentially all that came to him. Um, you know, the Bible says that the miracles of healing that are recorded in there are just a tip of the iceberg. Apparently, to ask Jesus to heal you or to heal your loved one was the same as it was going to be done. So I have determined that I'm going to almost always be talking about this on my videos and showing the many, many ways that it appears that Jesus was God in some kind of way, shape, or form. Remember, it's, it is still a mystery, but it's a mystery that can be understood if you have ears to hear and eyes to see. So I have chosen for my Scripture, John 17, and this is from the New King James Version. And I'm going to read it to you, John 17, 4 and 5. Now listen to what Jesus says. I have glorified you on earth. I have finished the work which you have given me to do. And now, O oh Father, glorify me together with yourself, with the glory which I had with you before the world was. Now Jesus is making a prayer right now. He's speaking to his Father. He says, all right, now let me tell you, he says, I have glorified you on earth. All right, now I looked up what glorify means. Glory is of weighty importance, shining majesty, 
that accompanies God's presence. To glorify God is to recognize God for who the, He really is and respond appropriately. To glorify God is to recognize God for who He really is and respond appropriately. Now, to respond appropriately to God for a human being is to bow down and confess that He is God. Notice it says, to glorify God is to recognize God for who He really is and respond appropriately. Now, I looked up these things, these, this word, and I picked out the one that seemed to go with what glory meant in these particular scriptures. So Jesus says, I have glorified you on earth. Jesus is talking to his Father. And I have finished the work which you have given me to do. That's the work of going to the cross. And now, he says, O oh, Father, glorify me. So Jesus is saying that God should glorify him. And together, glorify me together with yourself. So in the previous passage, Jesus says he has glorified God. And then he says he wants the Father to glorify him and himself. Now this is the part right here that is the clincher to me. With the glory which I had with you before the world was. Jesus is saying that he and the Father shared a mutual glory before the world was. So this idea of Jesus being a Johnny-come-lately and being only coming into existence when he was born to the Virgin Mary, this refutes that by saying, glorify me together with yourself, with the glory, with the glory. Remember, glory means God. To glorify God is to recognize God for who he really is. So Jesus is saying he wants the Father to glorify him with himself, with the glory that is the divinity or Godship which Jesus had with the Father before the world was. That's what it says. It says Jesus was with the Father before the foundation of the world. That would be in the beginning. He was there with him. So I'd like you guys out there to think about that. I'd like you to pull up John 17 and go to, just start and read the whole chapter. It looks to me like Jesus is saying that he was glorified. He had glory, that is divinity, with the Father before the world was. And that's going back a pretty good way. Now does he mean the world, the earth, just the earth? Or does he mean the, the whole creation, the universe? Well, I'm thinking it means that they were together <coughs> in the beginning of the creation of the universe. Although it doesn't say, it just says the world. I'll read it one more time. John 17, 4 and 5 from the New King James Version. 
I have glorified you on the earth. I have finished the work which you have given me to do. And now, O Father, glorify me together with yourself, with the glory which I had with you before the world was. Now Jesus said, Ask and you shall receive. He said, Seek and you will find. Read these things in your Bible if you're interested, if it's of interest to you to try to find out exactly what Jesus wants you to know about who he is. If you have eyes to see and ears to hear, if you're one of those, you will study up on this. Seek and you will find. Ask and it will be given to you. Now asking Jesus, Jesus, who are you? Would you show me who you are? I call it a shortcut. It's kind of like if you're driving out somewhere and you get lost. You know, out in the country somewhere. You can keep trying to... Now this is probably before the, the Google the Google Maps and all that you have on your phone. But back in the old days, you had these paper maps that you were trying to figure out, you know, what's going on. And you can just keep on going down dirt roads and down different ways and dead ends. And probably your wife is saying, well, why don't you stop and ask somebody? And, the, you know, the joke is that the husband never wants to ask. He's, he doesn't want to admit that he can't figure out how to get back get where he's trying to get well I say why don't you ask somebody and who are you going to ask you're going to ask Jesus Jesus please tell me who you are I really want to know and I'm going to be waiting and listening for your answer don't keep driving your car around in circles out there go ahead stop and get out and ask somebody do you know how to get back to town or whatever it is I'm lost and yes we are lost and we need to ask somebody and that would be Jesus would you please tell me who you are and help me understand these very mysterious words that I read in the Bible. And when you do that, Jesus will answer you and he will cause you to be born again. That is, he will open your eyes and he will open your ears and you will be in a condition called being born again. So you will be able to see the spiritual side of our existence instead of just the fleshly side. All right, that's my message today. I, got, I think it's plenty to think about. Don't forget to ask Jesus. Ask him. He's sitting right there waiting. Waiting for you to ask him. All right, we're running on 14 minutes. I'm going to say the Lord's Prayer. I'd like you to say it with me, and then I'm going to end it. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen.